If you press the gas pedal and your car doesn't respond the way it should, maybe it stumbles, hesitates, or just doesn't want to move like it used to, something's not right. A car that's slow to accelerate isn't just annoying, it could be a sign of a deeper problem brewing under the hood. I've seen it all, from simple fixes to major engine failures, so let me walk you through what might be going on and how you can tackle it before it gets expensive. But just before we start, please ensure you've subscribed to the channel. Dirty or failing mass airflow sensor. One of the most common reasons for poor acceleration is a dirty or faulty mass airflow or MAF sensor. This little sensor sits between your air filter and the engine, and it tells your car how much air is coming in so it can mix the right amount of fuel. If it's dirty or going bad, the engine won't get the proper mix, and that throws everything off. You'll feel hesitation or sluggishness when you try to accelerate. Sometimes a simple cleaning fixes it, and other times it needs replacing. It's not a costly fix, but it makes a big difference. Clogged fuel filter or weak fuel pump. Think of your fuel system kind of like a person's blood flow. If there's a blockage, things start slowing down real quick. A clogged fuel filter keeps fuel from reaching the engine efficiently. Same thing with a weak fuel pump. It just can't keep up with what the engine's asking for. When this happens, especially during hard acceleration or, you know, going uphill, the car can bog down or struggle to gain speed. Replacing a fuel filter is cheap and straightforward, while a fuel pump can be more expensive and time-consuming. Either way, don't ignore these symptoms for long. Throttle body problems. The throttle body is the part that controls how much air goes into the engine when you press the gas. If it gets dirty with carbon buildup, which it often does over time, it won't open and close smoothly. That makes your engine feel like it's dragging its feet when you step on the accelerator. A good cleaning usually solves the problem. If it's damaged or electronically malfunctioning, you may need to replace it. But either way, it's a part worth checking if your car's not accelerating properly. Now here's where it can get expensive. If your engine's working fine but your car still isn't picking up speed, your transmission could be the problem. In automatics, a slipping transmission feels like the engine revs but the car doesn't go anywhere. In manuals, maybe the clutch is worn out and not grabbing like it should. A failing transmission needs serious attention. Delaying repairs will only make things worse and cost you more. If your car is slow to accelerate and the engine sounds like it's working hard without much movement, get the transmission checked right away. Faulty sensors and computer gremlins. Yeah, those can be a real headache. Modern engines rely on sensors to keep everything running just right, like oxygen sensors, crankshaft sensors, camshaft sensors, and honestly, a bunch more. If even one of these is acting up, it can throw off the engine's timing and fuel delivery. That can easily cause hesitation or jerky acceleration. You might get a check engine light or maybe not. A quick diagnostic scan can usually point you in the right direction. Sometimes it's a $30 part, other times it's a deeper electrical issue, but the sooner you look into it, the easier it is to fix. In conclusion, when your car isn't accelerating like it used to, don't just give it more gas and hope it clears up. That's how small problems turn into big ones. I've seen people blow engines, burn out transmissions, or get stranded on the highway all because they ignored sluggish performance. If your car is hesitating, stuttering, or just feels weak when you hit the gas, get it checked. Sometimes it's as simple as a dirty sensor or fuel filter. Other times it's something more serious. But either way, the key is to act early and drive smarter. Your car is trying to tell you something, listen to it.